Hey friends, Crazy once again, and sorry, the lighting is is terrible. And when it when it's not, it's nine. It's almost ten o'clock, and it's already dark out. But every time, it gets every time at nine thirty around here, it gets dark. It gets dark really early. And here in Avon, it gets dark even more than this. So. Well, that summer's coming up, that probably won't be a problem, but i got to deal with my dark black face and my black background. You can barely see any shit back there. But, um, someone just went outside, probably my mom, taking the dogs out. But anyway, speaking of pets, this is a request this time from someone named Annabelle. And she wanted me to talk about this movie. Um, it's called Bad Boy, Bad Boy Bubby, and you already know what my thoughts are. I'm never gonna watch this movie again. I watched it until up to the part where the, where they take the cat, and it's an actual dead cat. They plug up its nose and wrap it in saran wrap, and they basically create necrophilia with the cat. And that's what I'm about. That's not what I like. That's not what I want to see in my fucking movie. And look at this light. It's literally blocking my face over here. Lighting on this damn camera on this computer sucks, but it's all I got because my phone's charging right now. But yeah, this this movie really bothered me, man. I have two cats. One of them is 16, which means she's gonna probably die soon. But this movie, I turn it off, and I was fine, kind of fine, until the scene with the cat. Why? I don't understand why real animal killing is a thing in a movie in the first place. Get him a Holocaust? Screw that movie. That movie isn't what I'm about. The fact that they made a movie about with a dead cat, with a with a Matthew Challenge person and they well he doesn't sorry and they abuse and they put real animal death on camera shouldn't be in the movie at all I mean it's another thing when it's like a fake like, like a rubber cat doll like in Benny Loves You where he fucks up a dog and it looks super fake that stuff isn't that bad I can handle that kind of stuff but when it's a real fucking dead body of a fucking animal, why would you put that in your goddamn movie? Why? And I'm not gonna curse out Annabelle. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not. It's not her fault. It's the people who made the fucking movie's fault. It's just fucked up, especially people who think that shit's entertaining. That's just, it's not my type of entertainment, it's not my type of, um, it's not my type of thing to watch on my fucking screen. The fact that this movie is free on Tubi is a fucking crime, it should be, I mean, oh, you watch some horror movies about dead bodies and stuff, I'm like, yeah, take for example, Someone gets their head cut off in a movie. It's fake. It's not a real person. It's not a real fucking animal. It's a it's a rubber head being cut off. It's not a real person. There's a difference between real and fake. This is something you do not fucking realize. But yeah, that's basically my thoughts on this movie. I don't like this movie. I wish I could write some of the images mentally from my mind. I wish I could forget that scene with the fucking cat. Since I have two cats and one of them's gonna probably pass away soon. So you can tell I'm pissed. That's basically it. So thank you, Andrew. I'm gonna go take my turn around for the copyright. Okay, the fucking copyright on my fucking channel because of the damn radio I'm gonna be pit even more pissed off than I already fucking am. 
But yeah. That's basically it. I don't like this movie. If you if you somehow enjoy this movie, first of all, what the fuck is wrong with you? And second of all, worse than cuties is worse. Now I haven't seen the movie Cuties. I've heard about it. That I'll probably be, be requested next since I cover disturbing shit. But yeah, should never been on. Should, should never been a fucking real movie. A, a, a movie. Oh, we can handle fake death. Yes, because it says fake. It's not real. The cat shit is in this damn movie. So that's my rant. So. Either way, thanks for watching. Take care. Peace.